Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got a review for you of this little guy. This is the CJRB Taiga. And I mean Taiga in terms of the overall climate classification, rather than the Taiga in the sense of I the Taiga, or Tony the Taiga, or they great. And none of that. This is the Taiga. Um, so there we go. First off, though, in the name of full disclosure, uh, this guy was sent to me by CJRB, or well, by Artisan Cutlery, who is the same damn thing as CJRB. This is just their budget line. I uh, saw them at uh, the, 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 the gathering, the USN gathering. I looked at their table. I put a couple of things aside saying, you know, hey, I'd love to check some of these things out. They sent them along. Um, we have to assume these are the best quality controlled ones ever, especially because I actually think some of these were the, the display, uh, the, the pieces they had on the table for display. Um, but nevertheless, we have to assume it's the best quality controlled one ever. And uh, I've done my best not to let that limit, or I'm sorry, affect my review in any way. I sent them full disclaimer on my website and everything. But there you go. Next thing, what's CJRB? I don't know. Uh, the, the, the guy I talked to didn't know either. Um, I'm pretty sure the C is China, but who knows? Um, but whatever it is, it is the budget line from Artisan Cutlery. Artisan Cutlery being a relatively new and up-and-coming sort of overseas knife-making line. But they have done this in the same way that We Knives has done Civivi and, um, oh, who else has done this whole affair? Either way, a couple of other folks have done budgety sorts of things. So there you go. And then finally, this is going to be a quick review because... Yeah, there's not that much to say here. So um, uh, let's go on ahead and jump into the good and the not-so-great of this particular piece here. Um, To start with, this is a solid and reliable action. Um, This knife, when you pop it open, is just like... It opens. Um, The, the, the tent on this guy is great. Uh, I have zero complaints about this detent. Absolutely good to freaking go. Um, it, it, And it absolutely closes easily, too. Maybe a little bit rough, but it's, you know what, cheap. 40 bucks, why not? Um, the, the action on this guy is reliable, requiring no risk to ready must fuss a bus. That's not even a thing. Anyways, back at the ranch. So the action is not, a, is not a problem at all. In fact, I'd go so far as to say it's good. Next thing, ergonomically speaking, pretty solid. Get a little bit of hot spotting off the clip here. Not bad. You know what? In the hand, absolutely fine it's okay it's good to go um next thing clip on this guy fine the uh texture on the handle it's directly under the clip but the texture ain't so aggressive so it didn't really bother me it's fine blade on this guy absolutely fine um this is a d2 steel blade d2 is one of the better uh, budget seals going on out there at the moment and it is a it comes to a reasonably thin edge maybe a little thicker than i'd maybe like to see for instance compared to oh, did i not do a size comparison i don't think i did spydeco del uh, spydeco pm2 on dario rat number two and spydeco delic is around here someplace whoa there i'm i'm all mixed up discombobulated over here um i got too enthralled with the tiger jokes i was stalking my prey there in uh, anyways i digress so um there's your size comparison but anyways um compared to for instance the ontario rat number two yeah the edge is a little bit thicker there not a big deal but it's a thing but the blade on the whole is pretty good with some flats and belly nice tip on there it's a fine blade it works um so that's good then finally on the good side 40 bucks look 40 bucks for d2 steel for a good action unassisted flipper yeah, we're lucky these days. Um, there, there, there were a lot of pretty decent choices coming out these days that just make what we had even three years ago just feel like, oh my God, what were we putting up with? It used to be that we were in spring assist territory in 40, but no, well, now we're good to freaking go. So um, it, it, to me, at least, that's what's good here is that it's 40 bucks with a nice blade with the two steel thin edge, uh, thinish edge at least. Um, it is a nice clip. It has solid ergonomics and a very solid and reliable action. On the great side, I'm sorry, not on the great side because I'm doing a quick review. On the bad side, um, to start with one little minor frustration of this guy is that this guy could be very easily viewed as right over the edge in terms of blade length, depending on how much the uh, cop dislikes you there. Um, you know, depending on how you want to measure it, it's like 3.54 inches is something stupid like that. It's, it's it's really, really small. Um, but it, it is definitely over that line. And so for some people, that might be a problem. I always advocate manufacturers aim to go right under rather than right over. Whatever, not a huge deal. Next thing, um, this guy is pocket pecking like crazy. He's got himself a nice big old flipper tab here. And although the pocket clip holds it a little bit canted in the pocket, this guy will still definitely be pecking on whatever's in your pocket all damn day long. Something to consider. Next thing, like I mentioned in the, uh, the, the, the early part, though, the action is absolutely fine. And you know what? For 40 bucks. I shouldn't complain, but it is a little rough. There's a, what feels like a little bit of denting in the line is there. Hopefully that'll wear in over time, but still not super overly impressed with the smoothness of the pivot on there. Whatever, not a huge deal. Um, and then finally on the bad side, um, 
This is a silly thing to say, and some people might be looking at me going like, Nick, you, you're a jerk, this is unfair. But honestly, this knife is so damn plain, it's, it's not even funny. I mean, it, it's like... This knife is, what happened here is that they were making like another design and then a barrel of vanilla extract just like fell onto the, the controller for the machine. And so it, it just, it infused this whole damn thing with vanilla. Or maybe a neural network was trained on millions of images of pocket knife out there from the internet. And then, then this is what came out as the average of all of them. I mean, either way, I mean, certainly it's not like a clone of anything, but it's a clone of everything. It's every damn knife ever, roughly. And mind you, this isn't the first knife out there that's been a little bit vanilla. I, I You know, th this is the Ruwaiki uh, B801 or something like that. But even this has a little bit of style in terms... With the plain gray G10 handles, this is just like... You, you would be hard-pressed to tell this apart from... Well, a whole bunch of things out there in the world. And so, to me at least, this is a very, very, very plain design. That's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, for a functional tool, if it looks like every other instance of that tool... At some level, it probably means it's doing something right. But at another level, it's just like, uh, I, I, I don't know. And so, um, th th to me, that's what's bad. It's that this design is super vanilla. It is a little bit rough in the action, but 40 bucks, shut up, Nick. Um, it's a pocket pecker for sure, and it is right over that edge in terms of blade length, um, which could conceivably maybe be a problem for some people. Final conclusion actually struggled a little bit with this review just because it is so vanilla. I mean, this is a knife. I look down at this knife and I'm just like, wow. Like, if you look up folding knife in a dictionary, they will basically have a line art drawing of this. Might look a little bit different, maybe without the flip at that, maybe with, I don't know. But this is just so incredibly average. It is a fine knife. The whole knife is fine. It's like aggressively fine. It's aggressively okay. Um, and it's got a fine blade, a fine handle, a fine clip. I mean, all of this is just fine. It's good. It's okay. It's solid. And, and but you know, and it's got a couple of little tiny disadvantages. It's pocket peck and it's a little rough in the action. But like like I said though, my biggest objection here is maybe unfair. But this knife is so damn vanilla that it started singing "Ice Ice Baby" as I filmed the review. This thing is seriously freaking vanilla. And honestly, if that makes this review a little bit awkward. It is fine. It's good to go. If you're looking at this knife, if you're looking at 40 bucks, you're saying, oh my god, take me now, the, 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 the tiger, whatever that... Take me now, Tiger. That's a different thing, isn't it? Anyways, if you're feeling that, then this is fine. It's aggressively fine. If you're loving any element of it, then awesome. It'll work well. It'll serve you well. And like I said, I well, I didn't say it about this, but like I said about the last CJRB, I, if, I would not hesitate in any way, shape, or form to hand this to somebody who, who's not a knife person. Just say, you know, hey, here's a good folding knife. And you know what? They would probably use it for years. They would, uh, they would probably love it, and it would be astounding for them. So this is... A very, very fine knife. However, I, I keep coming back to the fact that there are also more interesting pieces. There are pieces that feel a little bit more design. You get things like the Civivi Praxis, which has, it's a slightly DV, I mean, you could argue that this is also very knifey, but at least it's got a blade that's, well, they're both very knifey because they're knives, but it's got a blade shape that's a little bit more interesting. You know, the, 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 the Ruwaiki Rake Company, they make a whole bunch of things that are, you know, again, they're, they're fairly knifey, but at least they're unique. These two things feel a little bit different than this, which feels like the average of pocket knife. You know, you of course have the Ontario Rat series, the Rat Number 2 and the Rat Number 1. These are so aggressively functional, you know, with a slightly thinner edge, with a, they're, they're hard to say no to, even then, you get like the Cricket uh, CRKT Ruger LCK, this little guy, which is a um, very, very stabby little dude, um, and you, you get even like the, the, the Tala, the other, uh, another one from Artisan here is very, very much more uh, interesting. It's a little bit more unique. It's different. And so, you know, there were a lot of other pieces out there. So ultimately, I, you know, what, how I feel about this knife is, well, fine. It's a fine freaking knife. Um, Although, and so I kind of feel like, you know, it's good. It works. But although they may be calling this guy the tiger, I just don't really feel it roaring at me. That's all. So anyways, there you go. Hope this has been interesting to you. Uh, <laughs> this, this review was a little less vanilla than the subject matter and that you have yourselves just an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.